All right, so first thing you need to do is to remove the second row of seats. Uh, the bolts take a 12 millimeter socket and I'm just using an impact drill. The next step is to install this piece. So you can see these metal brackets will line up with the holes of the, uh, the seat bolts. So just use the same bolts that hold the seats in to install this. Okay, you can now install uh, this part. Make sure that the white hooks are facing forward so that you can access bags and things from the front seat. It's also written on the board which direction is front. So just put it in between this piece and the front seats and I'll show you how that works later. Alright, so the next step is to install the board that's going to hold up the back of our setup. In order to do so, I have these two pieces that I have created to fit on these sides. And then this board is going to go on top here. Make sure that the grooves are facing forward and you'll see why later. There's also, um, you'll notice throughout the whole setup, there are indentations where all the bolts go so that uh, the bolt tops are out of the way. Now the rest of the project uses quarter inch bolts that take an 11 millimeter um, socket. Now everything takes the same size of bolt except for this piece here takes a longer one. And so I like to leave those in when I'm storing it, just so I don't lose them. All right. Now for an interesting part of our build. We're gonna be using these wall mounts uh, to support all of the boards and the weight and the boards actually have screws with washers that fit in these grooves so that it can all slide back and forth really easy when you need it. Now there are several sizes of these bars. The longest will sit back here until you're ready to take it from gear uh, mode to sleep mode. And then uh, this bar will actually move back to help support the, the foot of the bed. Now your medium bars are gonna go in these grooves and they're gonna go all the way from this back support to the front support. And then you've got a set of small bars and these are gonna go on uh, the very front support and uh, we'll be able to slide back and forth. Whereas these ones are stationary. So I'll give you a view of that and then we'll bolt it all in. All right, I'm gonna try and position this camera so that you can see what I'm doing in the front uh, with that very front piece and the smaller bars. All right, so these smaller bars are gonna fit in these grooves here 
the grooves that don't go all the way through the board. They stop. So you'll put bolts in them just like the other boards. I'll tighten these down in just a minute. But what's going to happen is these bars are going to slide through the middle board here, and then the bars that are coming off the middle board will slide through the very front board. And once they're tightened down, it moves a lot easier because you'll have everything in place. So now that those are installed, you can see what's going to happen uh, is that when you are driving, you'll have this piece up like this. The front seats are pushed all the way forward right now. So I'll move those back and you can kind of see what it'll look like. So there you go, as you're driving, this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, you'll have plenty of room up in the front and um, your boards are gonna go on top of here so that you can put all your gear or your bedding, whatever you want on top of it. Um, and then you have all the hooks that are on the underside of this, which I'll show you later, that you can hang bags for like uh, snacks while driving is what we normally do. And then uh, when you're ready to go to bed, what you're going to do is you're going to push these seats forward. So you'll lean them forward and push them all the way forward. And then you'll be able to take this very front piece and slide it forward. Just like so. And then there are extra boards inside of this metal support, uh, middle support uh, that you'll pull out and set on top. That way your uh, bed is extra long. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then when you're done with sleeping, then you just do the opposite. You take this, you slide it back, get those in the grooves, and then slide your chairs back. All right, now it's time to install the boards that will uh, go on top. So the first board you want to put in is this one. You can tell by the grooves that it has in the sides. Um, these grooves will help to hold it in place while you're driving so it doesn't like slide around. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that one in. Just goes in the back here. Now, like I said, there are screws with uh, washers on the bottom of these. So be sure and line those up with the bars and put them in the grooves of the bars so that they uh, will slide when you want them to. Next is this small skinny piece. Um, on the underside, there are hooks and eye hooks uh, that will help hold these pieces together. So be sure and put the eye hooks in the back because this piece also has hooks on the bottom to connect them together. And as always, line up the screws with washers into the grooves 
of these so that you can slide it around later. And here's the third piece. So just like the other two, make sure that the uh, screws with washers line up in the grooves and that the uh, eye hooks are towards the back because then the hooks on this one will go into the eye hooks of this and hold it together. Okay, next you're gonna wanna push these boards all the way forward. And then I have these blocks labeled left and right to hold them in place. So right now I don't have the front seats pushed all the way back. So this slides around just a little bit. So what you wanna do is push the seats back so that it's all snug. There you go, this is your gear loft uh, system. I left this space open so that you can put a cooler in the back and open the lid uh, and get into your cooler without this being in the way. Okay, now it's time to show you how to set it up for sleeping. Uh, so what you wanna do first is pull out these blocks that are holding it in place. And then you're gonna wanna take this extra bar and move it back into this groove. And that will support your the foot of your bed. And then it's pretty simple. You grab this, pull and slide it until the grooves of this backboard hit uh, into these wooden blocks that I've set up. And then what you need to do is push the front seats forward and lean the, the seats all the way forward. Here's a side view of what that looks like once you've got the front seats pushed forward. Um, now we need to set it up so that your head will have support. So what you do is you take this very front piece, like I was showing before, just slide it forward. Now you push it all the way up against these front seats. Next. You'll see inside this metal middle support, there are extra boards. So just remove that little hair tie that I had there, holding them in place. Slide the boards out. And then put them in. Now these are directional because on the bottom, again, there's those screws with these washers so that they fit in these grooves and hold it in place. Keeps them from shifting side to side in the night. Um, so the, the first board doesn't really matter. These could go in the, the front or the back, but the next board you put in, you wanna make sure that those screws with washers are on the back side. otherwise they won't have any grooves to fit in on the front over there. And just like that, you've got a full bed. Here's an all around view. Have it set up with the bed. As you can see, there's tons of space for storage. Here it is, set up in the driving mode. You can see 
Lots of space for a cooler to be able to be accessed and opened. And plenty of space for gear. Now here's a view of those uh, hooks and eye hooks that I was talking about. Just like that, they hold those three boards together. I'll show you back underneath here we've installed a bunch of these little white hooks now these are really nice for gear storage but we also like to hang just a bunch of grocery bags with snacks for when we're driving because it's really easy to reach